Yo, what's up guys? NBA Talk with the second video of the night, um, March 27, 2016. Um, we have the Indiana Pacers going against the Houston Rockets. Both teams trying to make the playoffs. Um, eventually, the Pacers will win this game in a very close, close matchup. Um, 104-101. to uh, Once again, the Houston Rockets lose again. Uh, they are very, sh they're struggling uh, in this coming, like this, this stretch of theirs. Um, they're battling with the Mavericks, uh, Utah Jazz, which I will get into in a second. So let's look at the Indiana Pacers first. Uh, uh, oh, I'm about to say triple-double, a double-double. Sorry. 25 points from Paul George um, with 11, 11 rebounds. Uh, a very good showing for Paul George being the leader. Uh, Miles Turner didn't score anything. Uh, he didn't play so much. He only had 19 uh, minutes. Uh, 19 points for um, Muni. Uh, nine, yeah, 19 points, 11 rebounds. Sweet swell. Uh, Miles, Monty Ellis, sorry. Monty Ellis, 23 points, uh, 7 assists, 6 rebounds. Playing point, actually, because as I look at George Hill, he didn't do, he didn't do so good. And the only person who stood out um, off the bench was uh, C.J. Miles with 10 points. Uh, but the team played good defense, though. Very good defense. Uh, they're one of the best play, uh, teams in the NBA in defense. Consistent all the time. They have a good backcourt. No, not backcourt. Frontcourt with Paul George, Miles Turner, and Meany. And it's just, it's just a solid good win for them. Um, they're battling in the Eastern Conference where it's just any win could just get you to anywhere. In that up and down spiral because like Boston's in it, um, Indiana's in it, the Hawks are in it, uh, well, um, Miami's in it as well, and Charlotte, Bob, um, Hornets, sorry. Uh, the Indiana Pacers shot 47% from the field, 34% from the three point line, not so good from the free throws. They didn't turn the ball over that much, only 13. 25 assists, which is good. Uh, 35 defensive rebounds. Overall, 50 rebounds. So, a very good showing. And that's if the Indiana, Indiana Pacers. Um, they face the Chicago Bulls, which will be a very big matchup for them. Uh, now, let's talk about the Houston Rockets. Trevor Ariza, 14 points, 5 out of 12 shooting. Monte Junis, 3 out of 8 shooting, only 8 points. Dwight Howard shot only 5 out of 6, uh, 11 points, 10 rebounds. He needs more shots, shots down low. Uh, the more shots he gets, the better he gets at. Um, James Harden, of course, he's going to be James Harden. He put up 34 points, 8 assists, 8 Rebounds. Typical James Harden night. Uh, just put on an all-star level always. I wish he could do that defensively. Patrick Beverly. Um, yeah, that's just say nothing. That's just say nothing about him. Uh, Michael Beasley had nine points coming off the bench. McKillia had nine points off the bench with seven rebounds. Um, Corey Brewer had eight points. Uh, nothing from Jer uh, Jason Terry. And McDaniels only had two. So, 44% from the field, the Houston Rockets. 21% from the three-point range, which is not normal for the Houston Rockets. Um, and that's all I want to really want to talk about when it comes to stats for the Houston Rockets. Um... They need to pick it up now if they want to make the playoffs. They need to pick it up now because they're in a three-way dance with um, Dallas Mavericks, 
and the Utah Jazz. The Utah Jazz are currently in the seventh place. They jumped from the ninth spot all the way to the seventh spot. Um, the Mavericks have been slipping. The Houston Rockets have been slipping. Uh, it's just a three-way dance. Who is going to be eliminated? Who two teams are going to make the playoffs? Because I'm, I am for sure. They're not going to catch up to um, Portland. Because Portland plays a lot harder than them. However, in the Dallas Mavericks case, they are injury prone. They have so many injuries going on, which I will elaborate in the Dallas versus Sacramento game, which I'll be talking about, talking about next. So stay tuned. I'll be talking about Dallas Mavericks versus Sacramento Kings next. They're in a very tough situation. They're not even using uh, Josh Smith anymore. They're not even using Terrence Jones anymore. It's just a sad night for being the Houston Rockets. Um, they just need to pick it up. Seriously, they need to pick it up. 